Yo, listen, man. God is good. Remember I tell you this, man. God is good. Yo, and thank you once again for coming back to the channel. Cash Racing Motorsports. Shout out to all you guys for the views on the last video. Really appreciate that. But yo, listen, man. I normally do this every morning. I get up, I check my pick and pull list, see what came in the inventory. I came in about two days ago. They had a little Integra. I was feeding the nose on it, but I couldn't see it. it was behind the gate. So, check this morning. Actually, I checked yesterday. It wasn't there. I checked this morning, it's dead. About one o'clock I checked. Matter of fact, I checked one in this afternoon. I was late this morning. It's dead. I jumped out the crib, came down to the junkyard. The integra is like right in everybody's eyesight. And you would not believe what's on this fucking integra. Excuse me. So look, check this out. This is five lug right here. You understand? So I am like OD super hype. I thought the car was a GSR. It's not. Regular automatic LS Integra. And I am stu super soaked. Car got 2,000 tail lights, 2,000 bumpers, mud flaps, little goodies. I bust the door, I'm like, oh, let's hope it's GSR. Nah, man, it ain't even a GSR, it's automatic. Bro, somebody came in here, took what they wanted already, popped the hood. I'm like, yo, what's in this thing? Popped the hood, LS. I'm like, what? No way automatic guess what taking this five lug when i get home i'm gonna bring y'all up on what this five lug cost me today thank you jesus man i'll be right now back. majority of the time people want to know how i end up with so much parts or why these cars are always like good and how do you know if the parts are good all these cars are rusty out here i live in salt lake city you understand so the rust everything this is what happened to these cars. This is why they end up here because they cannot pass inspection and they're not road safety, really. Would you want somebody driving this shit behind you? Or in front of you? No. Look at that camera. Shot. All right, we are back. And I kicked ass. Yes, yes, yes. We about to get the guy out of here. It's cold as shit. Check this out. Got all four spindles. No convergence over here. Real USDM, 32 millimeter five lug. Got one in there. About to get out of here. Yes, yes, yes. I got five lug. About to get out of here. Got an EK hash there, but it's raining. I'll come back tomorrow and check out the rest of this stuff. Right, all right, all right. Back home. Welcome back to KRMS. Today was a successful day. Ended up with some five lug suspension. Yes, yes. Shout out to the junkyard. Can't tell you the spot though. So back to my usual spot. I mean my kitchen. Checked it all out. Part numbers was correct. Real type R calipers, front and rear. What they did do though, I don't know why. They redrilled the stock four lug rotors and put them on there. I have no idea. 32 millimeter. Don't ask me why. They did it in the back also. As you can see right here also had a wide rim. So they notched it. I'm gonna take off the trailing arms and switch them all out. Put the hub into a better trailing arm. It's not rusty and modified. But can't complain. Hell of a great deal. Wasn't expecting to find type R suspension in a pick and pull. But remember, subscribe. Like, comment, share. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode.